Well, I probably got this on a way to be fixed where it's going to be working for me and I'll be able to use it. This is a uh, Northern Industrial Tool MiG-135. I bought it brand new. I never bothered to freaking turn it in. It was busted. I was going to throw it away or something. Um, but looking at the parts for this thing, like if a rectifier is bad, it's $250 for a part. It's, it's a pain in the ass to change. Um, I don't know if the PC's board is bad, it might be $70, there's still something wrong with it, but what I did, <laughs> I says, you know, say I, I'm, I'm probably going to get a Hobart, which is um, $330 delivered from Amazon. This thing's $340, they're the same except Hobart's made in the United States, and, but I may fix this all uh, the rest of the way. What I did was I got the fan to work. Like you can hear it when it turns on. The fan in the back, the fan in the back is working. And I was able to get the little DC motor working too. Now, the original one, the original one. But then there was something else wrong with it. It wasn't delivering voltage to the DC motor. That's why I don't want to fix this thing anyway. Um, so there was like three problems with it. The fan, the DC motor itself, and voltage to the DC motor. Now you see I have a car battery here. I found out if I can wire it across the two leads that go into the case, that's from the trigger, right? When you pull the trigger, basically, let's see, well, you can see the wires feeding out. Now, so I got that, and I says, let me get some speed adjustment. I says, let me try to wire it through the wire feed adjuster. Well, apparently this wire feed adjuster works different somehow with the welder, but I got it where it's got a little bit of adjustment, see? Stops. Very little. Like, in other words, it's supposed to go from 0 to 10. It's going, like, from 0 to, like, a third. So there's very little wire adjustment. What I'm going to probably do is get a um, potentiometer from, I think I got some from Radio, Radio Shack, and mount one in the case over here and run the wire like I have this green wire going into the uh, the uh, what do you call it the wire feed the wire feed in the back see in other words this is where if you pull the trigger between this yellow and the green it joins the electric I got the green wire going into the uh, where the wire feed control is at then the yellow wire goes back out to the motor on a positive side and then on the opposite side of where the trigger switch is in the back, well, it's also the same yellow wire, but it also I also have it connected to the battery. And then, so in other words, that makes the connection from the battery to the motor. In other words, it goes from the battery to one side where the trigger assembly is, out to the uh, where the uh, wire feed motor controller is, like in other words a speed controller, a potentiometer or whatever the hell you want to call it, which seems to work backwards, and then to the motor itself, which I got fixed. And then the other side of the trigger assembly is attached, it, well excuse me, then the other side of the uh, motor, the uh, wire feed motor, is attached to the negative on the battery. So, I can just set this up, if I get the right potentiometer on here, you know, I could just take a little battery, it doesn't have to be this big, um, make a wire that plugs into it, put another thing on a case, and it welds. And now screwing around with it, the only problem is I can't adjust the wire speed. And you can see it's all splattery, but it's welding. It's welding. And here I was burning through because I had it up too high, and this is 22 gauge, but this stupid thing works. So I'm pretty much home free on this. I'll probably fix it. I hardly ever weld anything, so that's why I didn't use this thing, even though it was brand new five years ago. Never used it. But um, I would probably recommend if somebody buys one of these to get a Hobart. And uh, looking at the reviews, and it's all made in the United States, and there seems to be no problems with it. I actually put a negative review on this thing on their website, and they rejected it. And I said to myself, well, maybe that's why you all got great reviews, because you reject anybody's review that says the thing was broke, right? So, but I don't like the cost of replacement parts on this, and it's, uh, but it don't seem bad. It don't seem bad. So I'm going to, I'm going to actually, uh, go ahead and get another, 
I probably have one. I'm going to try running it through there and see if I can get like more speed adjustment on this. If I can get better speed adjustment on this, I can weld with it, no problem. And as long as I have it hooked up to a little car battery or a uh, garden tractor battery or something like that, I'll be able to weld, weld with it. So, you know, what the hell, right? I'm not going to use shielding gas with it because I have no other idea what the hell kind of problem is with this stupid thing. I'll just probably use the uh, flux wire, but hey, it'll work. 